Are you seeing all this color inside the water? It's totally mind blowing. But do you know why there is so much color diversity in uh, marine animals? In this drops episode, I will try to explain you why. Before we start, let's have a quick look on our TP page. With a little donation on this site, you can support our job and help us to upgrade our equipment. Like this, we will offer you better quality video. The link is just in the description. Already, thank you for your generosity. We would like also give a special thanks to Anne F, who became our first tipper. We are very grateful for what you did. Thank you very much. Also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. It will help us a lot. Okay, just wait a second. Now I will put some clothes on and I will bring you the sun. Okay, let's go. Even though so the light is rapidly absorbed by the water, color are no less important, especially in the first few meters. First of all, what we need to know is that fish are tetrachomats. In simple words, it means that inside their retina, they have four different types of conic cells, which allows them to analyze four, distinct, four different types of color channel. If we compare fish eyes to human ones, we notice that our eyes only possess three types of such shells. This means that fish are able to perceive a better variation of color than us. Many species are also able to see close to the ultraviolet. For example, the lemon damselfish is able to recognize the member of its species by seeing their unique patterns in the ultraviolet. With this in mind, let's discover the meaning of fish coloring. Different coloring can be taken advantage of by the animal for several purposes. Each species has its own strategy. The color can indicate the sex of a fish or it can be used to hide and deceive predators rather than members of the same species. Marine animals are truly amazing. So many things can be said about the livery. In this episode, I will offer you some quick examples of the different uses of fish coloring. Different color patterns in many fish species indicate male and female individuals. Some species also change their color in the different stage of their life. Let's consider the Mediterranean rainbow ras. At the hatching, all the new individuals are females and they possess this particular livery. When they reach the sexual maturity, they can change their sex, joining with one male to form a harem. As you can see, not only is the male bigger, it is more colorful as well with its orange stripe. The male controls the RM until his death. Afterwards, the biggest female of the group will succeed him and will become a male. In this case, the color difference indicates the hierarchy within the group, avoiding competition and all the loss of time and energy it will require. Just like surgeon or dentist wear scrubs while they're working, fish have peculiar livery indicating their profession. In fact, many cleaner fish own a distinct line on the side of their body. To give you some practical examples, the cleaner wars, the juveniles of the Mediterranean rainbow wars, and the comb fish. When the other fish see this color pattern, they can choose to have a break and stop to have a nice grooming. Let's see the video from our first documentary where some symphodus are cleaning the damselfish. Thanks to the service they offer, these fish can work peacefully and without fear around the bows of big predators. Indeed, why would you want to eat your toothbrush, right? Thanks for watching all the video and if you enjoy it, please let a thumbs up, share the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you the next week!